Hello, and welcome to this podcast. Today, it's my pleasure to welcome Claudio Teixeira. Claudio is a digital rights legal officer at BEUC, the European Consumer Organization, where he focuses on telecommunications, digital services, and cybersecurity. He was previously at the permanent representation of Portugal to the EU during their 2021 Council presidency, working on the negotiations of the Digital Markets Act and the public country-by-country -country reporting directive. Okay, Claudio, you know about your challenge, telling us what, if anything, is wrong with the European Commission con consultation on the future of telecoms and connectivity. Well, thank you. Good afternoon. It's great to, um, to be here and thank you for the invitation. Uh, on behalf of the European Consumer Organization, it's, uh, uh, it's something that we do welcome indeed, the, um, the exploratory consultation. Uh, from the beginning of this debate, we have been indeed um, calling for um, a public consultation to be carried out um, on this uh, debate regarding the potential um, proposal for uh, network uh, fees. Um, however, indeed, when it comes to uh, the questionnaire itself, um, there are some concerns that uh, we do have uh, in order to, pro to proceed with the inadequate and uh, indeed comprehensive uh, analysis uh, of this problem. Uh, I think from our perspective, indeed, uh, from a consumer perspective, uh, the main issue we see is that uh, there are a lot of uh, concerns that we've raised in our preliminary assessment uh, that we released in the December 2022 regarding uh, this issue um, that, in fact, we failed to see reflected uh, in this questionnaire. Um, indeed, at the time, we have uh, warned about um, the consideration of this um, of this measure should go ahead, um, coming from this um, so-called fair share rationale, um, could have significant uh, impact uh, when it comes to um, red lines for consumers such as net neutrality uh, or competition, fair competition in the telecom and digital markets. And um, even though there is indeed a, a section that approaches um, the issues from a consumer side, uh, it does feel to us that um, these concerns that we put forward um, haven't been really addressed. Um, and to add on this, I think there's also uh, an acknowledgement from a broad uh, coalition of stakeholders that um, this consultation is indeed very much focused on um, this very much uh, one side of the debate, which is between big tech and telco, uh, and doesn't leave a lot of room or not as much as it should to um, to the rest of stakeholders that are directly affected uh, by such a, such a consideration. And that, of course, includes naturally uh, consumers. There is indeed a section about consumers, but um, indeed what it looks to us uh, from our perspective is that this... Um, this actually fails a bit short when it comes to uh, laying the road towards what seems to us um, a conclusion that is already in the making. And to have the this section, its introductory uh, considerations already reflecting the idea that somehow um, it feels almost inevitable that uh, prices will rise and that consumers will have to burden the cost um, of these price hikes already in this context of cost of living crisis um, this seems to us a very, very concerning uh, starting point for, for the consultation. So basically, the consultation pays lip service to consumers, but without really asking the tough questions, which are the questions that you have raised prior to it coming out in your position paper. And at the end of the day, you know, whatever network fees, fair share, whatever comes out of it, I think everyone in Europe knows that the consumer is the one paying somehow, someone. <laughs> and so your fear as Beuk is that not enough emphasis is put on the impact uh, any change would have on consumers. Indeed, I think this is the most uh, pressing point at this moment, which is the consumers are very much at the center uh, of this debate. And so far, um, this center um, stage hasn't properly been given uh, in the considerations in the debate that has followed um, since the beginning of this discussion. Uh, and I think it's important for, for everyone to realize that uh, there is a broad debate in just big tech and telco. Any potential measures that will affect this ecosystem uh, will in, undoubtedly trickle down 
to consumers. And um, the examples we've had so far uh, of, of similar measures, the, um, the data that we have on the table, what it shows is that no matter how you want to look at it, um, it seems to us that consumers will in the end uh, have to foot the bill uh, for any such um, intervention on the market. So stealing a quote from a, another colleague uh, of mine um, from a different organization, it, it does seem to us that uh, instead of a, of a problem that should be looking for a solution, it seems to us that indeed what we do have is a solution looking for a problem. And that is hardly the optimal starting point for a discussion uh, on what, um, what a legislative initiative should be like. Thank you, Claudio. I, I hope that at the end of the day, the consultation does get flipped around and that we do look at problems and solve any that we find and avoid um, prejudging solutions on uh, imaginary or non-existent problems. Thank you so much. I hope the voice, and I'm sure the voice of consumers will be heard in Brussels by uh, many policymakers, and we encourage them to uh, read your position paper. The link will be uh, on the page where your podcast is put. Have a great day. Thank you.